Hey, and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Now, today's episode, we're going to be doing a PC build. We're going to be using uh, PC components that were basically almost 10 years old. Uh, now, what's the point of uh, doing this PC build? Well, basically, I'm going to be using this old antiquated hardware to edit uh, my YouTube videos. To, and this is to prove a point that you don't need high-end hardware all the time. You can get away with uh, old hardware to make YouTube videos. And I mean, I am fairly confident that the hardware I'm going to be uh, use, um, the PC I'm going to be building today, you could even uh, edit a, uh, a feature film. So, what's the hardware we're going to be using? A Gigabyte GA41. MT motherboard and you can pick these motherboards up for like um, 30 40 pounds second hand off eBay now this j41 It has a PCI Express uh, 16 PCI Express uh, times one um, You can use uh, two sticks of DDR3 yes, or give me eight gigs and that's what really the platform maximum uh, amount of RAM this platform will support. I'll be using a crucial SSD, 240 gigs, and that's what really is gonna give the PC its speed, especially when it's booting. Um, you're gonna have SSD. Now, the thing is, it, it supports uh, SATA 2, but that'll be enough. Um, the other thing about it is it only has USB 2. So to get around that issue, I'll be using uh, one of these USB 3 uh, add-on cards that you can add onto the one times PCI Express slot like that. So this is basically what we're going to be showing you is how to build a low budget PC to do your video editing needs. Uh, I'll be using a stock cooler, stock Intel cooler and the CPU I'll be using is the LGA775 Q9650 dual core quad. And that was one of the fastest uh, dual core quads uh, that were available at the time. And like I said, um, this is pretty much outdated hardware. But to prove a point, I'm going to show you... Well, I'm guess basically going to be using this as my main editing computer to shoot these YouTube videos for a while until I do another PC build and use much faster hardware. And we, I'll be able to compare the two and give you results. Yes, yeah, so the whole premise of uh, doing this video is to show you how you can use old hardware to shoot um, and edit your youtube videos and that's what this channel is about it's not it's not necessarily about using the most modern camera or lighting or sound equipment it's about using old equipment to make um current video uh productions so let's get started on the build video
Hey and welcome back. Uh, basically, uh, this is my editing uh, station. Um, I've got this old vintage uh, LG 17 inch monitor which is hooked up to um, the computer. Also, I've got a 50 inch plasma which is off screen. Uh, so when I'm editing, I can look on the 50 inch plasma as well and see what the final uh, edit looks like. And uh, this, per this serves me well. I'm not really invested in any high-end um, hardware as such, so uh, you know I haven't, I'm not editing on a Dell UltraSharp 27-inch monitor or anything like that. This suits my purpose, and this is what I'm trying to say: is you don't need um, flashy uh, hardware to make your YouTube content. What you need is some good uh, practical experience in being able to shoot your videos. Um, the most important thing that is hardly ever mentioned is make sure you've got a good microphone um, because the audience can forgive poor video quality but what it, they won't forgive is bad sound and I use a Rode VideoMic Pro for that and every YouTuber worth their salt has that microphone as the bare minimum and it is absolutely amazing. Now going back to my editing rig is, um, so this is basically uh, I edit on sometimes I use three cameras now I mainly exclusively shoot 1080p content now the thing is there are a lot of youtubers who shoot at 4k now I'm sometimes got shooting three cameras at the same time so I've got one looking at the front one looking at an angle and one looking from above and what happens is if I was to shoot in 4k 4K footage is a lot larger than um, 1080p. So if I was shooting with three cameras in 4K, the equivalent file sizes would be as if I was shooting with nine HD cameras. So the file sizes are massive. And to be honest, most of the time you're watching your content on your mobile phone or tablet and so forth, you're not watching it on a massive, um, iMac screen or anything like that so I don't feel the need why you really need to shoot in 4k what I do do though is once I've shot my stuff and I've edited it color graded it and everything I will up, I'll render out my final video file as a 4k file and upload as a 4k file why is that because YouTube uses a special algorithm when it sees a 4k footage and really uses a processor intensive algorithm that gives you the best and highest quality 1080p footage so if you're uploading 4k your 1080p footage will look better than if you uploaded in 1080p not a lot of people know that i do that for facebook as well um the same applies i i render my 1080p out as 4k and it looks brilliant at 1080p so a little tip there and what else can I say uh, everything even though I'm using this antiquated uh, quad core Q9650 it, everything, there is no lag there is no lag you know I'm jumping I can jump between different cameras you see there's overhead and everything that's fine um, what I will say is the files that it comes across where it can't render through the graphics card when it rent it has to hardware render them with the processor that can take a little bit of time I mean I can go to the bathroom or make a quick coffee while it's rendering that my final renders are usually between uh, 20 to 30 minutes I can live with that if I was shooting one video after another and had one project after another, then I can justify upgrading to um, more advanced modern day hardware. Also, another thing I wanted to say is the graphics card I use is the NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti, which has two gigabyte RAM on board. And that is basically enough for what I need. I don't need a 1080 p um, GTX 1080, no use. For the kind of stuff I'm doing, it doesn't need it. You don't need the latest, greatest hardware. You can get away with using stuff that was 10 years old because 
everything 1080p is established now it's got a smooth you know workflow that's been established for over 10 years now so there's no real reason to need to shoot in 4k and then you'd need to get a very fast modern day computer to handle that 4k especially if you're using three cameras if you're using LUTs if you color grading you've got filters and everything else you're going to need a more intensive uh, PC that can handle those tasks the thing is there are some YouTubers out there that uh, have are shooting 4k and some of them even shooting 8k now uh, using red cameras now these guys didn't start off by using red cameras uh, they started off using more low-end hardware and as their channels built up they had the necessary means and resources to buy those cameras and buy their editing uh, stations to edit on them and they've got massive massive server style hard drive arrays to do that but what I wanted to say to you is content is king if you can make the audience laugh if you can make an audience feel emotion um, and if you give engaging content the success of your channel is not going to be dictated or whether you shot on 4k 8k or 1080p like I said 1080p is fine as long as you can transfer what you have in your mind to the audience and the audience like it game over and to be honest there's a lot of films that were shot cinema films that were shot in 1080 uh, P Sin City, uh, you've got The Phantom Menace, which was shot on, I think, a Sony F900, and modern day cameras are more superior than them. So there's no real reason to jump on that 4K bandwagon if you don't have to. Plus, 1080p cameras are cheap on eBay. You can pick them up for 100, 200, 300 pounds, a decent camera. As long as you've got good lighting, game over. And like I said, make sure you've got a good microphone. And so that wraps up um, today. Oh, almost. I was just going to say to you um, that make sure that you invest in a good power supply. Uh, for this build, I used an old Enemax. I've had that for donkey's years. Again, that Enemax is a 750 watt power supply and I've had that for nearly 10 years as well. Animax make very very good uh, PSUs and that is one thing that people uh, sometimes forget. They're very reliable, very strong, invest your money in a good power supply unit. When you upgrade your computer, if you've invested a good powerful PSU, you can keep that on and take it over to your next future build. And that's it for today and hopefully I'll see you in the future if there is one. Thank you for watching today's show. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can smash the like button. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. You can also join us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.